Hello. Hello, Hippodrome backstage. Uh, who's speaking, please? Bob Rappaport. Bob, this is Brent Guns calling and recording a conversation for Hello Baltimore. Oh, how are you this morning? Fine. You got an all-star attraction down yes, there. Yes, sir. We've got the Three Stooges and Montana Kid and Bill Darnell. Ah, uh, that sounds like a big Easter show. Oh, it should be terrific. You don't happen to have Three Stooges around there well, anyway. they're right here. You know, we're rehearsing back here this morning. Well, let me and talk to Mo, will all you? All right, here's Mo. Okay. Hello, Hello, Mo. Hello. Hello, Mo. Yeah. This is Brent Guns at WBAL. How are you? Nice well, talking to you. Well, fine. We're delighted to have you here in Baltimore. Why don't you put a little sun on? Uh, well, I'm sorry that we haven't got a little sun on. We're trying to get it out for Easter, and that's what we're saving it for. Larry, say hello to a nice guy here in Baltimore. Here's Larry. Larry, okay. Hello. Hello, Larry. Yeah, how are you? You didn't hit Mo while while you were talking to me, did you? He does the hitting. Oh, he does the hitting. What's to my discomfort? Oh, you get hit. Yes, I'm he who gets. Yeah, well, how are you bearing up under it all? Well, you only have to look at my face to see it. <laughs> well, I tell you, if you have any trouble, Larry, you give me a call. I can always get police protection for you. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, you have a good police force here. I found that out when I parked my car last night. Uh-huh. Right on the job. A small matter of a ticket. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I hope you don't get any more of this trip in town. <laughs> Hey, hello to the night. Well, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, oh, oh. Hello? Hello. Who is this? This is Kent. Who is this? This is Brent Guns at WBAL. How are you? Oh, how are you? How are you, Brent? What's the matter? You having trouble down there with your... With your well, I guess they, I, was, I was lying down. They woke me up. What did they do? Step on you? No, I got a belt in the mouth. I'm up. I'm up. Uh, I bet you're going to be knocking them around on the stage, aren't you? Yes, we sure are. Not... Not I, but Mo is going to do the knocking. And he's going to knock you, too. Well, you know, yes. I, I think we ought to take Mo in hand sooner or later. Well, we've tried that for years, but nothing helps. <laughs> well, tell me, strictly off the record and off the stage, does Mo still crack the whip? Oh, he sure does. Uh, it, it's not an act, then, huh? Oh, no, no. Uh, well, if you saw the lumps and bumps on our eyes, you'd know it. <laughs> well, it's been a lot of fun talking to you, boys. Well, and... Wait a minute, Larry wants to say something. All right. Hello, Brett. Yes, Larry. Uh, if you get a chance to talk to the people, I want you to tell them that we are doing quite something different than we ever tried before. What is that, Larry? I, w I wouldn't like to disclose it. Uh, it's going to be a surprise, we hope. But it's not action... ballet, is it? Huh? It's not ballet. Well, I won't say. If you're getting hot. Uh -huh. uh, but it is different, a lot different than we've ever done before. We're bringing all new... I did, of Baltimore. Well, I'll bet you thousands and thousands of people are going to be packing that Hippodrome Theater to see what I it is. I hope so, and I, I'm pretty sure they'll see something they don't expect. Well. One way or the other. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that was the door slam. Did it get over the phone? Uh, yeah, and I yeah, hope Moe's head was in it. Now, you know. A big pardon? The rehearsal's on now. Yeah. Well, you catch Moe's head in the door for me, will you? I certainly will. I enjoyed talking with you. All right, uh, he said to keep talking here. He's, I think he's going to bring the Montana kid and the horse. Oh, that would be a wonderful idea. You've got quite a quite a show there with uh, Bill Darnell. And, yeah, Billy's uh, rehearsing now. He's the boy who made that Chattanooga shine boy. Yeah, and he did another wonderful record called the Sugarfoot Rag. Yes, yes. I've been uh, tearing all over the dance floor to that one. Yes, it's very good. I heard him rehearsing. Back Where were you just before you came to Baltimore? Hollywood. And came have, direct from Hollywood. Have you done anything uh, in pictures recently that has just finished a picture? Yeah, we finished a few of our shorts. Mm hmm And, uh... Have you done anything in television yet? Yes, we did the Ed Wynn show a couple of weeks ago. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you like uh, television? Well, I like it, yes. Uh, it's, uh... It's something new, you know, and it's something new to get used to, but we like it. Well, it doesn't give you quite the uh, time to prepare an act that you... Well, that's one of the difficulties. It doesn't give you time to prepare the, the kind of work we're used to doing that people expect from us. Yeah. I imagine that'd be tough to do every week. I'm sure that it would. Well, uh, uh, any of the boys uh, seem to be approaching the phone here? Yeah. Uh, who's we coming? See the Montana kid anywhere? Well, uh, uh, Billy's in the middle of his rehearsal. Uh -huh. And how about the the horse, Corey they're, Bay? I think they're feeding him right now. He uh. gets fed better than the actors. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'll let Mo score for a minute with you. Okay, Mo. Mo! Hiya. Uh, how are you? Fine. Uh, you see the Montana kid around there anywhere? Well, he's doing a little bit with uh, Don Mel out right there. They're rehearsing a bit together. Uh huh. Well, I'll tell you what I think we better do is probably call back and talk to him a little later. Uh, we're running out of recording time here. Fine. So uh, we're going to look forward to seeing you and your new routine down there. Well. And uh, best of luck to you. Thanks very much. Thank you, Mo. Right. Goodbye. Chicken.
out the Stoogerama 3 DVD collection for more Stooge rarities.